Hello, in this video we're going to be discussing backup. Now many of you will have heard the term backup before, and some of you will have no idea what it means and maybe less of an idea of how to actually do it. The term backup means, essentially, to duplicate the data that is on your computer somewhere else. We do this so that if something ever were to happen to your computer, or you lose the information inside of it, or it's stolen, or something like that, then all of the important information that your computer is storing is duplicated somewhere else that you still have. So you still have access to your pictures and your music and your documents uh, on some other drive that you have backed up. Now backing up is traditionally very cumbersome or difficult or confusing, but with uh, Leopard, Apple has introduced this great new software called Time Machine that will basically do everything for you, uh, except buy a backup drive and plug it in. So, uh, first step for you is to figure out if you need to back up. Here's the litmus test. If I were to come to your house and be playing with your computer and accidentally drop it out a window or in a lake or spill my Coca-Cola in it and all of your information was destroyed, would you be sad? If the answer to that question is yes, because you lost important stuff on your computer that you could never get back again, then you pass the litmus test and you need to be backing up. First, go to your Apple Store or website or Best Buy or whatever and find uh, an external hard drive appropriate for your computer to back it up. When buying an external hard drive, there are a few things to consider. Firstly, the drive that you purchase must be larger than your computer's internal storage drive, meaning it must be able to store more information than your computer, preferably one and a half times the space. I'll show you in a minute how to find out your computer's internal storage capacity. Next thing to consider is which brand you might get. Different people have different opinions, but these are generally the top three brands. They're all going to have three to five year warranties and be reasonably priced. Last thing to consider is whether or not you're getting a laptop drive or a desktop drive. I put them in quotes because either type of drive will work with a laptop or a desktop. The difference is merely that what we refer to as a desktop drive requires uh, an external power source. It needs to be plugged into the wall, whereas a laptop drive uh, gets its power source from the computer. Lastly, you could purchase an external hard drive at your local Apple store or at an online vendor such as Amazon.com or something like that. Now in order to find out which size drive you need to purchase, you need to know your computer's internal storage space. In order to do that, you can click on the Finder icon in the lower left corner of your screen, click on Macintosh Hard Drive, go up to File and choose Get Info. A window will open up and you'll notice on the left side I've highlighted it in a red box. It'll show the capacity for your computer. So if mine is a 320 gig hard drive, I want to have at least one and a half times that amount of space. So I'm probably going to buy a 500 gig hard drive. Once you have your drive, just plug it into your computer. And your computer will probably ask you a question like this. Do you want to use whatever the name of your drive is to back up with Time Machine? And it'll tell you, Time Machine keeps up-to-date copy of everything, blah, blah, blah. You can just click Use as Backup Disk, and it will do something like this. Countdown to next backup. Uh, I'm going to stop this backup right now because I don't actually want it to backup. Um, but that's it. It'll start backing up. Be aware uh, that the first backup could take many hours, depending on how much information is on your computer. Um, it could potentially take uh, the majority of a day. Uh, you can be doing things while it's backing up, uh, so it doesn't lock you out of your computer, but um, still, you might just want to consider doing this at the end of your day and just let it back up overnight. As it says here at the bottom, Time Machine will keep an hourly backup for the last 24 hours. After that, it's going to start throwing away incremental backups, and it's going to keep a daily backup for the previous month, weekly backups before that, etc. Uh, when you disconnect this hard drive from your computer, obviously it cannot back up. So be sure that your hard drive is plugged into your computer if you want Time Machine to actually be working. Uh, you'll notice up here in the menu bar you have a Time Machine icon. 
can click on that to force it to back up now if you've just done something really important and you don't want to wait for the next hourly incremental backup just have it back up now you can also open in time machine preferences which opens this window or you can enter time machine which is what we will talk about in the next video when you actually want to recover information that you have lost before we finish let's just click on this options button here uh, this will give you a list of things that you can exclude from backup. So if there's any particular file or external hard drive or something that you don't want to be backed up, you can click the plus button and add it to this list. Again, this is a list of things that will not be backed up. By default, everything on your computer is backed up. Also, uh, if you have a laptop, there's this checkbox here that will only do backups while you're on battery power because if your computer runs out of battery while it's doing a backup, it could corrupt the backup file. Um, also, after you've started filling up your external hard drive where you're putting all your backups, uh, it's going to start deleting them. So this checkbox at the bottom will just notify you of that. If you need to change the disk in the future, uh, like your hard disk gets too full, you need a second backup disk, you can choose Select Disk here. Uh, you can turn Time Machine off temporarily here, although I would just leave it on. Makes more sense. So that's it for Time Machine. Uh, go buy an external hard drive if you don't have one, hook it up, set up Time Machine, um, and back up all of your information. In the next video, we're going to talk about restoring your backup.